who has two thumbs and loves movies. The sky. Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's movie review here. Today, I bring my unboxing and review of Champions. This one was sent to me for review by Universal Pictures, and it does include Blu ray and digital. Woody Harrelson Champions, a film by Bobby Farrelly. Screenplay by Mark Rizzo, directed by Bobby Farrelly. Every dream team starts somewhere. Here's a look at the spine. It does have both Universal and Focus Features logos in the bottom corner. Woody Harrelson stars in the hilarious and heartwarming story of a former minor league basketball coach who, after a series of missteps, is ordered by the court to manage a team of players with intellectual disabilities. He soon realizes that despite his doubts, together, his team can go further than they ever imagined. There's a couple images there. Uh, bonus features, 12 hilarious deleted scenes, casting reel, feature commentary with Bobby Farrelly, and more. Uh, this one's rated PG-13 for strong language and crude sexual references. Uh, we're going to look at the inside here for the runtime of 2 hours and 4 minutes. Audio includes DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, French, Spanish, DTS Digital Surround 5.1, and subtitles of English, SDH, Spanish, and French. Let's check out the inside here. Uh, we get a silver and dark blue Blu-ray. All right, guys, I just finished watching Champions, and I feel like, in a way, they were going for comedy. Uh, it is listed as a comedy, but I felt more like it was a heartwarming, uh, <laughs> inspirational, feel-good kind of movie. And with the exception of a few hilarious one-liners, I didn't really find the movie to be all that funny. Now, this one stars Woody Harrelson as a basketball coach who uh, has some issues, and he's definitely run into some trouble. And while he feels, and maybe other people feel, he is an NBA-caliber coach, he's like a assistant coach at a college and he gets into a scuffle with the head coach, and he gets fired, and he ends up uh, drinking and driving, which is not funny, and he gets into an accident with a parked car, and he can either go to jail or he can uh, perform community service. So, of course, he chooses the community service, and for his service, he is going to be coaching a team of um, people with varying degrees of mental capabilities, um, I don't know if they were specifically Special Olympics athletes, but I know they kind of brought it up a couple times. Um, the championship was from the Special Olympics, but I, I don't know exactly uh, how you would classify it. So the movie is pretty predictable in that he gets there and he's not into it and he's not really feeling it and he doesn't really want anything to do with it. And, you know, he doesn't think any of these guys can play basketball. And, of course, he starts coaching them and getting to know them and helping them with their problems. And, of course, becoming a better person himself. And, of course, these guys turn into an amazing basketball team. They're all, like, super good at basketball. I didn't realize it till the movie was almost over, but it seemed like a lot of people were left-handed. Because their shots always looked weird. And I was like, wait a minute, is everybody left-handed? I'm not sure it was everybody, but several people were left-handed. Which, nothing wrong with that, it's just... You don't see it that often. Now, as I said, it's it's a little predictable, as these movies typically are, and the eventual romance that you see coming from a mile away with Caitlin Olsen, who is great in this movie. I really enjoyed her performance. Um, I don't know I've seen her in a lot besides It's Always Sunny, but she was great in this one. Uh, just a great cast, uh, a really interesting, fun, like I say, heartwarming, feel-good uh, inspirational kind of movie. Woody Harrelson's always great. Very enjoyable in this one. Uh, Cheech Marin is in this. Uh, he doesn't have a big part, though, so I don't really have anything to say about him, <laughs> uh, particularly. As I mentioned earlier in this review as well, there were a couple downright hilarious one-liners that I, I was laughing out loud. At. They were so good. Um, so I really enjoyed this one. It was a, a very fun movie, uh, very... I've said it several times already, but heartwarming movie, and I, I really enjoyed it. I think you guys should check this one out. I know a lot of people are already kind of 
comparing this to the ringer but i feel like this one you know was trying to be more authentic instead of more like just slapstick comedy uh, I love The Ringer, don't get me wrong, but uh, I just feel like this one is trying a little more to be authentic and and not so outrageous as The Ringer. And I liked it, guys. Four out of five. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, to the videos, and I'll see you guys next time.